It's Scott with Yakima again to tell you about installing our high-speed fork mount bike rack. It's ready to go right out of the box and no tools are required. Here's what's in the box. The fully assembled high-speed, two different wheel strap lengths, a QR skewer, and a sleeve. Okay, first step of the install. Get the high-speed onto your roof rack. The mounting system is universal, so high-speed fits most crossbars. Align the front mount with your front crossbar. Now, slide the rear wheel tray back to gain access to the top of the rear mount. Slide the rear mount to align with your rear crossbar. Slide the cover of the rear mount open. Lift the lever up and back, past the detent, that's the catch point shown here, then drop the lever down through the frame of the tray. Now, lift the high speed up off the crossbar, enough to route the strap underneath it, and pull the lever back up through the frame. With the strap in place under the rear crossbar, hook the tabs back into the catch points and adjust the strap tension with the thumb wheel. Close the lever until your high speed is secured to the crossbar. If it slides, go back and tighten up the thumb wheel until the rack is secure. Once it's set, slide close the cover on the rear mount. Now the front. It works pretty much the same way, except there are two straps up here. Slide the front covers back, both of them, open the levers and lift them up to clear the detents and drop them through the opening. Lift up, route the straps under your crossbar, hook the levers tabs back into the detents and tighten the tension with the thumb wheel. Close, make sure it's on there tight. Close up the covers. Now try and slide your rack and make sure it's secure. On there? Good. For T-slot crossbars like the Yakima Jetstream bars, you can purchase the Smart Slot Kit 1 to easily mount your high speed directly into the T-slot. The high speed fits most bikes, including fat bikes with tires up to 5 inches wide. First, find the rear wheel strap that fits your bike best. Long for fatter tires and wider rims, and short for thinner tires and smaller rims. Then, choose which side you want the strap on. It can mount on either, so put it where it'll be easiest to access. Thread the strap, teeth facing outward, and tuck it out of the way so it doesn't snag your wheel. Open the clamp by turning the torque right knob counterclockwise. Time to grab your bike. The high speed works with both through axle and quick release forks, but the first step of the loading process is slightly different for each. Through axle bikes work like this. Remove your front wheel and reattach the naked axle to the fork. If you have a 9mm quick release, remove your wheel, place the included skewer with its sleeve on onto your fork and tighten. From here, the loading process is the same. Grab your bike and lift it up so the axle nests into the clamp area and the rear wheel sits on the rack. While supporting your bike, tighten the torque right knob until you hear a clicking sound like a gas cap. Now secure the rear wheel by sliding the wheel tray so it's underneath the wheel then thread the strap between your spokes and through the buckle. Pull on the strap to tighten. Want to lock it up? Easy. Just purchase two of our SKS lock cores. Then, install one in the tail whip cable and run it under your roof rack's crossbar. Then up through your bike frame and lock it up with your SKS key. Add the other SKS lock core to the rear crossbar mount to secure the high speed to your crossbars. You can add extra security for your through axle bike by adding a third SKS lock core to the torque right knob. For bikes with quick release axles, add extra security by purchasing a Yakima locking quick release skewer. Got a quick release fat tire bike? We've got you covered too. Just go with a fat bike locking quick release skewer. To unload, just release the rear wheel strap, tuck it away, support your bike, release the torque right knob, and grab your bike. For quick release bikes, you can instead choose to leave the sleeve tightened into the clamp and simply loosen the skewer to free your bike. Removing the high speed for storage is easy. Slide open the front covers, undo the two straps, open the back cover, undo that strap, lift, and store. Easy.